Oh yeah, you're a thing. What's happening my fellow geeks and geek heads? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris. And today, it's a quick little unboxing video slash tactical Batman cosplay update. What we have here is the cow that is going to be accompanying this suit. Now, this cow in particular is a very special cow. It's actually a custom made cow, not by me, but by the amazing Keith Hernandez of Hernandez Effects and Mr. Josh Strong, who is a good friend and an amazing Batman cosplayer. So Josh initially commissioned Mr. Keith Hernandez to design, build, fabricate, cast up in urethane one of these bad boys for his Batman suit. I saw that Keith had put a photo on his Instagram of the cow that he designed for Josh and I just instantly fell in love with it. Sent him a message and said, dude, just take all my money. I want one because I feel like it would just go really well with this tactical cosplay. So the awesome thing is it is a two piece cow. It has a neck piece and obviously the body of the cow. And there's just something so beautiful about it. You look at these photos here of Mr. Josh Strong in his custom made Batman cosplay. He wears that cow so damn well. And that is the exact same cow that is in this box. As you can see, I'm wearing the tactical top just for effect. So what I'm gonna do, unbox the cow, show you guys some nice close ups and everything. And then we're gonna try the cow on and show you how it looks in motion and then call it a day. Alrighty dirty, let's do this. I'm very excited about this. Oh yeah, you're a thane. Alrighty, we've got the first piece here, which is the neck piece. Absolutely beautiful, very streamlined, very sleek. I love it. So I'll be showing you guys some nice close up details of the cow, of me wearing it once I pull everything out. Now what I love about Keith's cows is they are so smooth on the inside. They make taking on and off so easy. As opposed to, you know, watering your head, lubing your head, powdering your head, it almost has like a built in powder into the urethane. And I love it, it's just got that nice tech feel to it. Doesn't look overly big, it just looks perfect. Actually, I'm really digging that, that is beautiful. All right, let's get to the piece de resistance. All right, so we've got the neck piece, and here's the cow. I love it already. In love with it already. Oh, yes sir. Oh man, that is beautiful. Look at that, absolutely love it. Now remember what I was saying when Josh is wearing the cowl, how sharp and streamlined it is? That's what I love, especially the ears and uh, the temples here. They just kind of streamline down into the brow. I think it's a wonderful design. I think this is a great collaboration between Keith and Josh, and I'm honored to have this piece as part of this cosplay. Now Keith foam fills his ears, so they hold their shape and they're also squishy and they also flex back in place. Now, before we go any further, I probably should address my goatee. I'm actually gearing up to do my Jack Sparrow cosplay next week and here at Supernova here in Sydney. So there will be a video about the makeup process of that and then eventually a breakdown of the costume itself. So I'll give you guys a glimpse of the wig and the costume at the end of this video. But for now, I'm gonna show you guys close-ups of the cowl and the neck piece here. And then we're gonna go to the white background and show you guys how the cowl and neck piece look with the rest of the suit. So for the time being, you're gonna to have to put up with the goatee Batman, which is fine. Okay, so here's a good look at the neck piece. Now, it is a very flexible urethane, but it still holds its shape. It's beautiful. And you can see there, it's got that lovely powdered embedded smoothness to the inside of the urethane that just makes slipping these pieces on and off just so much more easier. Alrighty, now the cowl itself, it's just badass. It's just got that mean, mean look to it. I absolutely love it. I just fell in love with it the second that I saw uh, Keith post it, and then obviously Joshy's photos of him in his bat suit. Just those sharp ears just look so intimidating. I absolutely love it. So still tinkering with the idea whether to do uh, regular eyes just with the panda eye makeup or white lenses or just do both. Definitely something um, I'd love some input from. You know, you guys wanna leave a comment in the comment section, what do you reckon? The regular eyes with the black panda eye makeup or white lenses. All right, now that I've shown you close-ups of these pieces, let's cut to the white background and I'll put this baby on and show you guys how it looks in motion with the rest of this suit. All righty, let's pop this neck piece on. Now I've had to shift my microphone from here down to here, so hopefully that's picking up all right. Again, these things are so easy to put on. Uh, Keith makes his products just a dream to slip on and off. You don't feel like you're gonna rip any hairs out or rip your skin off. Okay, next seal down. Actually, <laughs> holy shit, that just sits absolutely perfect where the chest emblem is. Yeah, wow. I uh, <laughs> didn't expect it to fit that well. All right, cow time. Hopefully I can fit the ears and everything. 
in the frame. Oh. Oh, yes, there we go. So I'm definitely go. oh man, I love the look of this. Just see what I mean where it just looks mean and beasty and like you got the shit. So definitely I'm gonna have to have a thin lycra hood under here just so you can't see any of my skin or my hair or stubble or anything poking out. But man, how good is that? Turn your head and everything. So very much in vain like the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises cow. Ah, that just makes life so much easier when you can turn your head. Gussie, you agree? Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, he likes it. So I may just have to go in with a Dremel and just clean out the eyes just a bit, just so there's a bit more room here. So again, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Should I leave the eyes like this with the panda eye makeup or should I do the white lenses? Or both? Oh man, I'm over the moon with this. This feels and looks sick. Just exactly what I wanted, just perfect. So thanks very much for watching guys. Absolutely and utterly over the moon with this two piece cow. A massive thank you to the wonderful Keith Hernandez of Hernandez FX and the beautiful Josh Strong gentlemen. It's an honor to wear this cow, amazing collaboration. Now, as you can see here, here's a preview of my Jack Sparrow cosplay. Here is the costume, here is the wig. I will have a makeup tutorial and then a costume breakdown video very, very soon. So not this weekend, but the following weekend is Supernova here in Sydney. I'm gonna finally be premiering this bad boy. I'm so excited. Hence the goatee. Now over the next couple of days, you guys are gonna be seeing a couple of quick burst videos in regards to the release of the new Ratchet and Clank game. So I had the amazing opportunity to collaborate with PlayStation and we just did some mucking about with the green screen, had a bit of fun. They put myself, my good friend Jaden Rodriguez and Saksham Magic into the world of Ratchet and Clank and it's just all in anticipation for the release of the game, which I'm pretty sure is tomorrow. Tomorrow being Friday, it's Thursday here at the moment. But yes, just a heads up, if you see some quick little bursts on my YouTube channel of those little green screen montages, then you know what that is. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching wherever you are in the world, have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly, and until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.